Hello, today is May 13th, no, 14th, <laughs> forgot, Friday the 13th, uh, this is Final Fantasy Briggs Livius, War of the Visions, um, I just finally reached 100 on my raid event for the Persona 5, and I'm just showcasing how I'm pretty much, like, just straight up one round worth and not use a, uh, orb, raid orb. So, my team is consisting of Summer Kilfe, which is over 1,500 attack power, which is ridiculous <laughs> how I built her. Uh, so, for her abilities, I had to turn it off quite a bit of them because they were kind of um, messing up the timing and such. So, I kept her a Black Panther Punish, which is good amount of damage. Plus, she has Defense Piercing Rate, which I'm still trying to learn if that actually stacks with the items and such. Uh, Loop probably ran because it's a two-hit combo, and with her combining with everyone else, it's she actually yeah, becomes a hard-hitting chainer. Um, Self-sacrifice. Uh, yeah, without this, I, I had Thief Lore originally, and that's how our attack power is different. So that's a huge bonus. Uh, obviously, a Vitalize is activated. Uh, her limit breaks max, so, um, I think, what, what was it? I think it was, like, 82% or something like that, negative to light to this guy when I landed the ability. I was like, <laughs> that's damage. Uh, this is Thancred. <laughs> um, he's in his gun breaker stance. I'm keeping so super bowl light, which he never uses on automatic. Um... Using Blasting Zone 2 because it damage reduction, uh, defense reduction. So that's a big hitter. Um, Dragoon, which he doesn't use any of it, so he's just straight up attacking. The most that he's actually pretty much doing, either he's doing Blasting Zone 2 or he's doing Keen Edge um, in his rotations. And none of the other stuff actually affects. Uh, where like, he's just there because it's, he's there tanking. Um, most of the time he's using either, well, any of these. <laughs> uh, either he's using Deterrent sto Strike, or actually, he, I think he was using Shining Sword. Yeah, he was using Shining Sword because he was taking care of the adds. So, yeah, he's pretty much our tank slash, you know, just extra late damage going on. And then we got Cecil. Um, normally he's been doing the Shining Double because it's just ugh, painful. Uh, Reckoning Light when he actually does it at times. Which also helps him out because through the fact it has that defense piercing rate. Um, that's pretty much all he does. Uh, he does, what was it? Buff himself, this one. Lights protection on automatic, so he's getting some uh, a AP uh, attacks. Um, so their gear wise, I have the two head dragon on um Kill Fay. Um, uh, for the first vision card, I'm using the serpentine onslaught, which helps up the damage attack um damage up. Uh, for offhand, which, <laughs> why, but whatever, it's just stacking up. I could probably could do better, but, um, her gear wise, she's using the black garb. Like I said, I don't know how, what stacks what on the defense piercing rate. So I'm not so clear about that stuff. I heard, I watched a video and they said that you can't stack a certain way. I don't know buffs um, stack. Uh, Giga's X. Um, it's not their defense piercing, but it's slash attack resist piercing right up. So that's kind of really ridiculous due to the fact this guy has uh, bad slashing resistance as it is. So, And of course, you know, the infamous Illusionary Bell, which has been augmented. Not the greatest, but it's something. Um, and thank Red, he's using, I had nothing for him accessory-wise, I'm using this pathetic thing, 
His weapon is not the greatest. It's still I rerolled this like four or five times right now. I still have not gotten better with what this stat is. I have yet to have it maxed out. This just randomly, because why not? Um, using a war mech or death machine, if a lot of people are old school like me. Um, he's pretty good. And of course, in a Final Fantasy XIV card, which is damn good in this setup. Um, so, and then using this one, because why not? And plus it's acquire AP up, so it's kind of, it's rather helpful. Normally it's 50%, but with being secondary, it's actually only 10% less. It's like, that's pretty damn good. So, um, again, like I said, he's like, why do you use that? It's, it's, it's something. I don't have amazing cards. Where I, I use uh, the Phoenix for his Esper, which, you know, he's more specialized in the tanking department. Obviously, Val Love, as usual, which also gives that 10, uh, 30% attack buff. Um, I gave this uh, Aligon Vision card, which gives slash attack up and accuracy. I didn't expect anything from this boss because I was like, okay, does he do any blind attacks or anything? Or he has high resistance, but... Uh, that's what it is. And plus, uh, for personally, it'll give him slash attack resistant up, so that's up in his damage output. And that's about it for that. Um, for his weapon, I gave him his actual sword, uh, where it relates. And his uh, actual armor, too. And his trust master, well, just that. So... And then you got Cecil doing the same thing. He has Warrior Light Sword. I gave him a little bit more on him, the max attack stats, because, you know, he's more focused on attacking. And again, also Armor Light. And this one I gave uh, him the Tifa's um, Trustmaster item. And of course, you know, he's E Free. That's his Asper type. And Scion of House Above, Final Fantasy Tactics card, original Tactics card that we got in this game when it first came out. Um, the slash attack up and the agility boost, and plus the personal slash attack up. And it's off guard while uh, unit invasion up, which has been proccing decently for everyone. Um, attack resist up, which this, do this guy does do a lot of AoEs, and invasion up just for sa safety wise. So, further ado, let's go. This is my level 100. And like I said, I have not spent a orb at all so far. It's really tight, but it, ha it, it finishes up in one round. Oh, shit. I forgot. We'll do another round. Uh, actually, I, I wanted to change the speed level, but we're going to be zipping real quick. So, Kilfe will start off her AP. Thankward will uh, do his uh, Blasting Zone 2. He does a self buff. He does AoE uh, damage plus regen. Self. And Kilfe will use her Limit Break. Which she did. Now it's reduced his attack power. Or his defense on Lightning attacks. And pretty much that's it. Sometimes they have to attack and then get their APs back up, but other than that, they're just going ape shit on it. See, she did her double attack. He did his and chaining. The only thing that sucks about this fight is that he is a lot faster in this level, so chaining is getting really hard to do. We're already on turn nine, and he's less than fifty percent of his hit points already. Say loop running around. She just did a crazy amount of damage. I'm on turn six, and he's this much. But unfortunately, everyone's AP is down. And that's it. Turn four. Uh, I, I just got lucky with the crits, actually, because usually I'll be down to uh, one turn. And there we go. That was one round and not using a single raid orb. Grant, I don't have the bonus items or bonus character, but the thing is, you kind of think about it. 
do I want to keep chaining um, th with these characters? Wait, hold up. Let me reevaluate this. Panel settings. Uh, speed up, off. So we'll just slow it down. So I'm thinking in my head off. I'm like, okay, is it worth getting the 50% bonus if I put uh, one of the Persona characters or draw off the car, uh, vision card that I'm constantly, you know, I have to use raid orbs? Or I just go crazy. Uh, um, just doing random missions, get my you know raids up to ten plus uh, ten people, or ten raid bosses, and then just keep chaining it and not worry about it. Okay, so she did her light reduction. So let me get thankrits here now. Map. Now look at how much resistance down. 48%. That is pain. You're mine. There we go. That's four, about close to 15,000 damage worth right there. Of course, kill phase coming up, so that's going to ruin her chain a little bit. May the sand consume you. Straight up 14. Let's give this a try. Straight up 14. That was close. And that's where it's gonna hurt her, because now she has damage down. Murata. Now he's got his tag. That was close. And then she's probably got to use Black Panther Punch because she's a little hit points. Oh no. That's 25,000 she just did. Yeah. And they're just slash attacking. I am not done with now she's you. just getting her health back. And you're about to die soon. Thank you, take it away. Try and stop me. Or Cecil. Just slash attack them. So that's why I say it's a little tight at the end, but I got lucky at the last match. Um, there was a lot of criticals. This one didn't have too much criticals. Kelfe with her uh, Lupine Wren, she does. <laughs> Gods. Uh, like 28,000 damage. When she doesn't have that damage down, which sucks that often she does, but it's 28,000 damage she just swung. Twice. That's pain. So. Just want to showcase that, you know, you can solo it. Uh, this event is so stupid easy. When I looked at the, the weaknesses, I was like, Okay, weak against light. Okay, no problem. I got my light squad. And weak against slashing. And I'm like, are you serious? This is my team. This is my basic team when I have light. Now, when it comes to this, the rare uh, bo raid boss, this is my team. Not the greatest, but then again, it, they don't have to be ridiculous because, you know, the boss is only maximum level 10. They'll get the job done. Uh, I think mine is currently at 7. I haven't even gotten a good... Um, spawn rates, pretty much. I've been pretty much getting the, the pity draw. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I think he's, like, level 7 or 8, and I'm already at a level 100 raid boss, and it's like, uh, what's going on here? I've been really having those shitty draws. Um. Other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just... I could be doing better if one if I get Shadow Links maxed out. And Gaffriot, if we ever get the Final Fantasy Tactics event, that'd be great for everybody. Because I know a lot of people want to get their Thunder God Sids uh, shit rolling along with Agrius. For me, I want Gaffrion getting up there because he's pretty lethal as a Dark Knight. Well, not Fell Knight, I should say. Sorry. <laughs> 
they revised that as to Dark Knight and Tactics, uh, Lord of Visions. So, I don't know. Yeah. I better turn that back on late. So, yeah, that's my one shot round of doing this raid encounter. So, <sighs> that's it for this video. See you next time.